Hey there, this is Crystal, and we're taking our Outlook address book and we're actually putting it in Microsoft Word. Anytime you have Office 2010, all aspects are interchangeable. And you can take one piece of one application and place it in another pretty easily. In Outlook, you can take your address book or your contacts and you can have a full list in Microsoft Word. So here I have Outlook open and I'm in my contacts folder. I only have a few contacts, but it doesn't matter if you have six or you have 6,000. You can actually take all of this list and actually place it in Word in almost like a database list. So in the Home tab, in this Actions group right here, I'm actually going to do a very small mail merge. So here's my mail merge. This dialog box pops up. Important part here, you can leave all the other areas default. Here towards the lower left-hand side, see where it says form letters? I don't want a letter. I'm clicking on the drop-down arrow. I want a catalog. It's also called directory in some older books. So here I'm going to make a catalog and I'm going to merge it to a new Word document. As soon as I click OK, it's going to actually take all of those addresses and give me the ability to merge them into Word. So here's my Word document. It automatically brings me to the Mailings tab and it has my cursor ready so I can insert the address block. So here in the Write and Insert fields, I want the address block right there. So I just click right on it and I just check and uncheck the parts of the address block I would like in my list. So this is the way I'd like the person's name. I can actually get a little preview of all the names in the list. So that's what I'd like. I'd like exactly that. I'm going to click OK. As soon as I click OK, see those little carrots? That means, plus this little gray means it'll be interchangeable. So it will change for every new item. Two things that are important here. First of all, if I just select this, there's a lot of space after it. I don't want that space after every single line. So the person's name, then their address, then their city and state. I want it to be one right after another with no space after. So I'm just going to select this right here. I'm just going to go to the Home tab. And then I'm going to go to the Paragraph line and Spacing and just remove the spacing after the paragraph. And then afterward, after every address block of names, I actually want two lines in between each name. So I'm just going to press Enter twice. I'm going to go back to the Mailings tab and finish up my merge. All the way here on the right-hand side, here's Finish and Merge. I have choices, but I actually want to edit the individual documents. I always like to edit it to see what it looks like. I'm going to edit it. I want all the records. Notice I can choose from a particular record or a certain range. I can click OK. And there it is. There's my Outlook address book in Microsoft Word. So there you go, inserting your addresses in Outlook in Microsoft Word. This is Crystal. See you soon.